Hey you guys doing once again, this is James and this is Half the Conversation. I want to have another one today real quick about Russell Wilson. Here's the thing. I am a Detroit Lions fan. Yes, I said it. I am a Detroit Lions fan. I grew up in Detroit. I live in Washington right now, but I'm still a Lions fan because I was there for 20 years of my life. So Lions fan all day long. However, Russell Wilson has shown that he is an amazing person and leader so i'm just gonna say this point blank period if you don't like if if you don't like russell wilson i think something's wrong with you if you don't like russell wilson i think something might be wrong with you how can you not like a person who stands up for good how can you not like a person who has positive things to say whenever they open their mouth if you don't like that coming out of a person Please examine your own uh, ideology and your own life and your own ways of thinking. How can you not like a dude like Russell Wilson? He goes to Children's Hospital. I've heard that when he is in Children's Hospital, he's um, he's not trying to speak to adults. People say, oh, he's a douchebag. Oh, he's this. Oh, he's that. Well, if I'm on a mission to specifically talk to one particular group of people, I cannot, for lack of better words, waste my time to talk to people who I talk to every other day. I'm at Children's Hospital. I'm talking to Russell Wilson right now. I'm at Children's Hospital one day a week. Probably, I don't know, two, three hours. However long I'm there. I only have a limited amount of time to talk to these children who are here because they're probably dying or they have some type of ailment. I don't have time to talk to adults who I talk to every day, six days a week. I'm sorry if you think I'm a douchebag, but I'm here to talk to the children. I have time for them. I've blocked this time out of my life for them. So if you think I'm a douchebag, okay. I'll talk to you tomorrow. So, I mean, I just I just don't... And this is back to me again. I don't see how people can legitimately think he's a bad dude. Or just think he's good at two shoes. If you think he's good at two shoes, you like chaos then. You like to complain about everything. Russell Wilson is thankful for things. He always expresses his thanks. He always expresses his appreciation. He always expresses his gratitude for things. If you don't like that, something's wrong with you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna be. I'm just gonna t tell it like it is. I was used to work at a place called Hancock Fabrics, and there was this lady in there. She had a 49er jacket on. Okay, whatever. 49er jacket. Seattle's rivals, if you will. So what? I don't care. I mentioned Russell Wilson to her, and she said, "Oh, I can't stand that guy. He's a goody two shoes and this and that." And I said, "Really?" She said, "Yeah." I don't like that guy. He's, he's uh, blah, blah, blah. Because this was two, this is three, four years ago. So I can't remember everything that happened in conversation. But the bottom line is she didn't like him. And it just, it just made me think. If you don't like Russell Wilson, that speaks to your caliber of character as a person. Russell Wilson, to me, is a, and he embodies leadership. He embodies positivity. This is, is what the world needs. The world does not need more of what it has, which is lots of chaos. Granted, the world has lots of good, the world has lots of bad. But when we have a person in the spotlight who is actually standing up for positive things, going to see the children at Children's Hospital, uh, sp uh, pumping his team up, going on Instagram and sharing pictures of his family and things like that, he <laughs> when he got a new when he got his new contract. He literally did it from the bed. Hey, yeah, we in here twelves. We mean we, we got a new contract twelve. We in there. How can you not like a guy like that? How can you not like a guy who's all about the great things, all about talking good, all about um, spreading positivity? How can you not like a guy like that? So, like I said, if you don't like Russell Wilson, that's, I'm sad for you. We need better. We need people like him. We need to clone him. No. Don't actually clone him. We need to follow his lead is what I'm trying to say.
We need to follow his lead. We don't need to clone him. We need to follow his lead. We don't need to clone him because that brings a whole new back ball, ball of wax. We need to follow his lead and follow his example. That's what we. That's what is best for the American people. And that's what's best for Seattle. That's what's best for Washington. That's what's, that's what's best for everybody. Follow his lead. Love you guys as always. Let me know. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Let's have the conversation.